Highland Park 10 years old Viking scars. Is this worth taking home? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. What's up my whiskey people? Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Highland Park, the new 10 year old. Now, there was a 10 year old with a similar blue effect in the previous edition, the previous incarnation of Highland Park. Now, they have sort of gone very Nordic with, uh, I believe, a Danish design, which I really quite like. And it really suits the fact that um, Orkney used to be, well, I guess Danish, I think. <laughs> so anyway, that's cool. Oh, and a quick shout out to Martin Mark Vardson from Denmark, who is the global brand ambassador for Highland Park. Hello, Martin. How are you? Uh, what should I say in Danish? Uh, for then, how today? <laughs> I can't say it properly. I uh, wish my parents had taught me Danish better. Um, my grandparents and my dad, I should say. All right, so we're gonna get that poured. I had the chance to meet him in in, uh, in Korea about, I guess, about three years ago, just as they were switching the design over. So they had the fire and ice that came out, and then right after that, they switched up the uh, the design. So interesting. All right, so a nice little pour. Now this is a mix, I believe, of ex bourbon and a little bit of ex sherry. Um, you need a little bit of ex sherry for the well, the standard Highland Park kind of character. So this is what it has. I think there are now some uh, some um, uh, sole, solely ex bourbon matured Highland Parks out there. I think full volume was one of those, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's have a look at the color of that. A very nice light golden hue, probably about a 18 karat gold, 16, 14, 8, well, 14, 18 karat gold. So very nice, wonderful to look at, and that's natural in color. Now this is 40% ABV, and it is likely, most likely, probably almost assuredly chill filtered. That's a big, big brand, and all the big brands are doing that. It would be nice if they just all suddenly agreed, yeah, you know what, let's move it up to 45.8% or higher, and uh, oh, what a lovely aroma. And let's just stop chill filtering and no longer use color. And if the Scotch Whiskey Association agreed and made that rule, Scotch Whiskey would be the ruler of the world. Well, as it is, but not always and not forever, right? Oh, such a fruity nose here. I want to check out the legs with you. So let me just uh, stroll that about here a little bit. 40% ABV. We're probably not going to see a whole lot of slow showy legs, but we should still get a sense of what that mouthfeel will be like because it's not always going to be the same. Okay, so here we go round and around and let's have a look. Fairly brisk first legs, but nicely showy. Look at that. Excellent. All right, now the nose. Lots of white fruits, peaches and peaches, white peaches. Distinct white peach, that's really interesting. The tiniest waft of peat coming through there, that Orkney peat. Light vanilla, a little bit of citrus. And yes, a slightly light little bit of a ready, ready, red fruit, pardon me, red fruit, red fruit nose here. A little bit of very light, fresh, underripe strawberry. It's a really delightful nose. It's very fresh, very easy to smell, very easy to pick out flavors. This is a really great whiskey for people who want to know what white fruit in whiskey smells like. Beautiful. I really like that. When I first opened this and I tried it, I think I poured myself three, three, three drams, three ounces 
one after the other because it was just so easy to drink. And the price, I forgot to mention the price. This is about $60 in Alberta, $65 in Ontario. We don't have it here in Manitoba. Hopefully we will. I understand that this is a irregular release. They get it in Europe, but for North America, we get the NAS Magnus, which I haven't reviewed and I'm not sure if I will. I might. We'll see. The price is very good. It's $50 Canadian here in Manitoba, in Winnipeg. All right, so on to the palette. Cheers, everyone. Big cheers. Continuing with the white fruit sort of story here. So more white peaches on the palate. More pronounced peat also coming through. A little bit of something like... Um, mm, like jelly beans wrapped in white chocolate. Could that be interesting? It might be. Hmm. Or just a hint of smoke. A little bit of something kind of like also that just cocoa powder. A very, very light little sprinkling of cocoa powder on top of that, um, that white peach. And that light little bit of strawberry is still there in the palette as well. The finish is short. I shouldn't say it's short, it's medium. It's fresh, fruity, lots of vanilla on the finish. And the peat even greets you at the end and you get a little tiny waft coming through there. Lovely. Let's add just a couple of drops of water. We will add one, we will add, come on. Uh oh. Come on, two, three, just three. Okay. Now I have another Highland Park that I have to get to that I really, really quite like, and that is the Highland Park 16 Twisted Tattoo, which is such a good price and I think a fantastic value. We'll get to that. Not today. Oh, I love the way that um, that peachy note kind of gets a little bit stewed when you add water. It's so fresh. It's almost as if someone took a little bit of a fragrance spritzer and just spritzed that, that peachy note in there. The palette. Hmm. With water, the palette is relatively unchanged. You do get a little bit more vanilla, but that nice peat is still sort of lightly woven through there, which is quite nice. The finish, a little bit shorter with water. Hmm. But it's a worthwhile experience. Personally, I feel that as is, is the best presentation for this 10 year old. And yes, it would be a baller if it were 46%. All right, well, time to get onto the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Highland Park 10 year old Viking Scars. What is that gonna be, folks? It's gonna be 85 out of 100. You heard it, 85 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Highland Park 10-year-old Viking Scars. A really, really enjoyable whiskey. It is excellent value for the money. This actually puts it at um, the second level of pricing in Manitoba if this were sold here, which is not. But um, it is unreal that you can get something like this for just 60 bucks in Canada. It's worth trying. 
Well, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the link right over here and hit the bell. Ding, ding. That way you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. And if you're enjoying what Whiskey Whistle is bringing to you, then jump in and support the channel. Join the Whiskey Whistle crew on Patreon, patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. All right. Anyway, take care. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Goodbye now.